All right, guys, welcome to a beer review. Um, being in England, of course, I can't get a beer review done on the first take, so this is part two. Um, yeah, today's beer is from Joseph Holt of Manchester, and this is the 6X, coming in at 6%, and it's a strong ale. Had a few beers from the Joseph Holt Brewery, but I think this is the first one that I've actually reviewed out of all of the ones I've tried. Uh, from what I remember of the beers, fairly solid, uh, not too exciting, but dependable, um, kind of like me. Um, but uh, yeah, the brewery itself, um, yeah, I appreciate what they do. Um, and I think they've got the Joseph Holt pub, is it the Joseph Holt pub in Manchester City Centre? The one that's like facing where Selfridges is? I think it's the Joseph Holt, I think this is that pub. Uh, it's always packed. No matter what the weather, no matter if there's a sporting event, doesn't matter if it's like 2 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, it always seems to be packed, so I've never actually been in there. Um, but like I was saying, I've tried some of the Joseph Holt beers. I'm probably even incorrect about the pub. Feel free to let me know down below. But um, yeah, as you can see, I've already poured this beer. Still got a little bit in the glass, so I'll just lug it all in and give it way too much head than it should do but um yeah i have already smelt and tasted it but i'll obviously do it again and uh yeah beer in a glass um on camera and not in direct light it does look almost jet black with three fingers well two fingers worth of tan colored fluffy foamy white head tan colored what foamy fluffy white head that doesn't make any fucking sense uh it's actually holding its own it's like it is still fluffy but it doesn't seem to be dissipating too quickly but when you hold it into the light you're getting some really dark ready tones in there and when you were pouring it it poured a bit brown um it kind of reminds me of like when you pour petrol when like when petrol leaks even though it's not as thick as that um it's not a thick beer it's a medium bodied beer so it's not too heavy in that regard. So I'm getting ahead of myself. What does it smell like? I'm getting like charred meat in there. I'm getting a smokiness. It's musky. And that's really all I'm getting. Um, it's not the strongest smelling beers. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? I'm absolutely just not with it today uh yeah it's it's got like potentially strong characteristics in the sniff but they're not overpowering so it's not an attack on your nasal cavity but yeah i'd say it's more woody than anything else roasted woody slightly roasted coffee maybe um and yeah it does smell like what you'd expect from a strong ale so anyway let's give it a taste cheers I'm still getting those woody, smoky, roasted nut sort of flavours. Um, there's a slight fruitiness there, like a plum maybe. Um, ever so slight caramel, molasses sort of flavours as well. Uh, not too much. And uh, yeah, it's it's not a very exciting beer, to be honest. Um, but I could definitely imagine, you know, back in the day... If, I'm not sure when this was initially brewed, but like back in the day, at like a tavern, and you having a little bit of a, a session, and yeah, it's one of those like hearty beers, old school strong ales. Um, but it, I don't know, it just tastes almost like a, a generic porter to me. Uh, not an exciting beer. Um, so there's really not too much to talk about with this one. Let me have another taste. Yeah, medium body, not too heavy. And it leaves you with a very strong bitterness on the back end. Um, from what I read on the web website, it's like rated 4 out of 5 for bitterness and 2 out of 5 for sweet. Um, and, that, you know, it's, it's doing that. So if this is your thing... I'd say this is a prime example, but um, yeah, it's a dependable beer, 
I'm going to finish the rest of it. I'm going to take my time with it, but it's not one that I'm going to shout about. So I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Uh, purely one of my preference um, ratings uh, because it, it's got a good sense of quality to it. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's not really tickling me right now. Um, who knows, maybe on a wet and windy weekend um, when I've got nothing to do and I tried it, it could be you know, perfect. But it's got that like sense of comfort about it when you might have been out in the rain on a Sunday morning going shopping or something like that. You come back in and you just want something just so you can crash um, and maybe watch the football or something like that, whatever you do on a weekend, getting ready for your roast dinner. It's one of those perfect beers. Um, so... Depending on the occasion, I could easily give it a couple more points. And obviously on my mood, give it a couple more points. But as of right now, it's just really not tickling it for me. So it's a 6 out of 10. Um, one of those videos that I'll have to revisit at some point and get another take on it. So it's a 6 out of 10 from me for the 6x. Six, 6x, six, 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 or 6x, six, I'm not sure you say. I think that's like a, a card game term. Well, you know, they're playing cards on the back, and they actually do mention cards on the uh, back of the bottle as well. Uh, 6%, 6 out of 10, 6x. That's really all I can say. If you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What did you pick up on that I haven't picked up on? Um, have I completely missed the point of the beer? Um, I, I do like strong ales, but I've got to be really in the mood for them. So I think that's what's holding me back from giving it a few more points. Because like I'm saying, it's not a bad beer. Not a bad beer. No, uh, it does not deserve to be less than a 5 out of 10. So uh, yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you want to find out more about the brewery and the beer itself, I'll be putting reference material down below. Any other video reviews that I enjoy, I'll put those in as well to get a bit of a more rounded and 9 times out of 10 a much more um, knowledgeable review of the beer. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more beer reviews, and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.